Hi, today we will discuss about types of attributes. Okay, what is meant by an attribute? Attribute will tell the properties of an entity. Okay, suppose if entity is a student, then student roll number, student name, the location from where he is, all this will act as a properties. Now the properties or attributes are classified into various types. We'll discuss each one. Now first we have the simple attribute. The attribute which cannot be further divided, that attribute we can call it as a simple attribute. The best example is your first name. Okay, the first name cannot be further divided. Let's take it. My first name is Kakarla. That cannot be further divided. So we will call it as a simple attribute. Whereas we have the composite attribute which can be further divided into simple attributes. Let me write tell again the composite attribute it can be further divided into various simple attributes. Let me take a small example. Your name is there. Your name can have further divided into first name, middle name, last name like that we can divide. Am I right or wrong? So I can call the name as a composite attribute which can be further divided into first name, middle name and last name. Now the first name cannot be further divided and even middle name also cannot be further divided. So I can call the first name as a simple attribute. Okay, last name can be a simple attribute. So I hope you have understood what is a simple attribute and composite attribute. Simple attribute cannot be further divided further whereas composite attribute can be further divided. Okay. Now let me discuss what is a single valued attribute. The single valued attribute, the attribute which consists only one value. Let's take the A's. Yes, each person will have one yes only. He will not have multiple yeses. Okay. So those kind of attributes we will call it as a single valued attributes. Whereas multi-valued attributes, you can have multiple values. Okay. It will be represented like this. Okay. So now what is my multi-valued attributes? Can you give me an example? The example, best example for multi-valued attributes is phone number. Nowadays, everyone have more than one phone number, okay? One for WhatsApp, one for calling, okay? All these things, we'll call it as a multi-valued attributes. Means if an attribute consists of more than one value, we will call it as a multi-valued attributes. Now, what is meant by stored attribute? There is a relation between stored attribute and derived attribute, okay? Now, let's take a simple example. If someone knows my date of birth, can they derive the my yes? Yes. Or if someone know my yes, can they derive my date of birth? Yes, they can do. So in this case, suppose if I am I am telling my yes, if someone is deriving my date of birth, I can call my yes as a stored attribute because I am storing my yes. Okay. So it will be called as a yes will be called as a stored attribute. From the yes, I am deriving the uh, attribute called or a value called my date of birth, okay? So there I will call it as a derived at attribute, okay? My date of birth will act as a derived attribute, whereas my years will act as a stored attribute. Now you can ask me, if I have years, does I need to store the uh, date of birth? No need, only any one of is required because if, some, if I give my years, he can derive my date of birth. So we no need to have another attribute called date of birth. Okay, so the next we will discuss the derived attribute will be represented as a dotted oval. Okay, whereas others, if this is an oval, composite attribute will be represented like this, multi valued attribute will be represented like this. Now we will discuss what is a complex attribute. Complex attribute we can call it as a combination of composite attribute plus multi valued attribute. Can I give an example for it? The best example for it is your addresses. Okay, now your address will have the permanent address and corresponding address. Okay, so the address is having multi valued. Why? Because you will have the corresponding address and permanent address. So I, that address will be called as a multi valued ad, attribute. Now, why it is called as a composite attribute? If you see your address, can be further divided into flat number, uh, street number, city, pin code like that. So 
it can be called as a composite and it is also multivalued so as it is a combination of composite and multivalued i can call it as a complex attribute i hope you have understood various types of attributes okay thank you so much